When was the last time you sat down and watched some Queen Bee's footage? I hate you. <laughs> really? Oh God, it's so embarrassing. No, I don't go back and watch that. Sh no. What if we had some? No. <laughs> Are you joking? Nope, it's here. Shut the, oh my God. It's so. I've always been told that I come off <laughs> as being very conceited and aggressive. <laughs> to be stared at all the time, it really does get annoying. There are days when I wake up and I'm like, I wish I was ugly. Hi. <laughs> I really, I can't. Oh man, that probably made his day. I. So boring. My group of friends in high school would always I can't. be following behind me like little ducklings. Can I go? People would refer to us as. Just sit here as for one minute. Posse. We have one minute of this. I can't help that I'm the center of attention. I'm fun, I'm talkative, and I'm charming. Pretty much perfect. 11 years ago, people. 11 years ago. I want you to change. I don't know. Well, I don't think I'm gonna change. <laughs> Maybe we'll go to like a soup kitchen. A soup kitchen? What if we have to do like I have not seen this Crap. Stassi Schroeder taking a cringeworthy trip down reality TV memory lane. She thinks she can never be proven wrong. No at all. No at all. I'm smart. We're a bunch of teenage girls who just like became friends for like a good few years because we were like traumatized by being like <laughs> recorded 24 seven, literally filmed 24 seven in a house with these girls. Um, that was mortifying, but I'm really good at reality television. Yeah, I always was, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> that feels, it's very much the vibe of the Stasi we met season, season one. one. I am the devil and don't you forget it. The Vanderpump Rules star revisits more of her past in her new book, Next Level Basic. Why a how-to humor book instead of a straight up memoir? Do you really picture me, really, really, like I'm gonna do a memoir? I'm, I'm 30 years old. I haven't really experienced that much life. I mean, I've always wanted to write, but I never really knew what I wanted to write about. And when I started my podcast, like I realized that like everyone who was emailing me and they like always loved the fact that I was just like owning the fact that I'm a proud basic bitch. And then like one day I was like, oh my God, that's it. Like. I am a basic bitch warrior. That, <laughs> that'll be on my tombstone. While you won't learn many VPR secrets in the so-called definitive basic bitch handbook. Listen, I want to keep my job. <laughs> right. So, sorry. You will get to know more about Stasi. Things that people didn't know about me, like when, how I lost my virginity. It was the cringiest thing to write and like live through again, but like, I got wasted at home and like did it by myself and I just like really like had a laugh and like it was almost like therapy. I mean that was really fun to just go back and think about things that you know pre Vanderpump rules that I hadn't thought about in a while. There are a lot of stories that I now that like I wake up in like from like a dead sleep and I'm like mother <laughs> I should have put this in I should have put this in and I'm just like now compiling like a whole list that I've just been like book number two I'm putting this out there so that I can like let all of those stories go I feel like book number two will happen I have an idea of what I want it to be it's like Chelsea Handler left the seat open for the humor comedy book that is such a compliment wherever you're going with this continue <laughs> I was gonna say now you can sit there Thank and you. continue on this train of writing Thank book you. after book after book Number one reason why people should go pick up a copy of Next Level Basic. Because you want to laugh and feel good about yourself. I think they will do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, finally, stop torturing me with this Queen Bee. Except another clip of Queen Bee. <laughs> <laughs>